Come, come, whoever you are, wanderer, worshipper, lover of leaving, ours is no caravan of despair. Come, yet again, come. Welcome to All Souls Unitarian Church. All souls everywhere. I'm Shannon Boston, and I am here to talk to you about transformation which is April's theme for the month at All Souls. Heraclitus, an ancient Greek philosopher, tells us that change, also known as transformation, is the only constant. And I am here to tell you in my 50 plus years that this is true. But change is to be celebrated. Wouldn't it be boring if things were the same every day? I like change and I want to celebrate change. With that in mind, this is indeed a day to celebrate. So let us rejoice in it and be glad. Let us count our many blessings. Let us be grateful. For, let us be grateful for the capacity to feel and understand. Let us be grateful for the incredible gift of life. And let us be especially grateful for the ties of love that bind us together, giving dignity, meaning, worth, and joy to all of our days. If you have a chalice, I invite you to light it now. If you don't, you may light yours vicariously through me. Maybe. There we go. And we will now say our covenant. Love is the spirit of this church and service is its law. This is our great covenant to dwell together in peace, to seek the truth in love and to help one another. Before I tell you today's story, I would like to invite you into a full body prayer. If you can join me standing, that would be great. If you can't, you can stay seated, but make sure you have plenty of room to reach out and reach up, get out of this box that we're in, reach the edges. Be sure to be right in the middle. There we go. Take some deep breaths. Become aware of your body, of how you're sitting or how you're standing, of the tensions in your body and try and release them. Become aware of your breath where it's coming from and where it's going to. And start your, your prayer, another word for meditation, centered. This helps me center. Meet right in the middle, right in the midline. Focus on your inner quiet, on your inner voice. Think about it. Think deep. Think deep inside. We'll start in prayer pose, focusing on our inner quiet. And then we'll sweep our arms open, open to the spirit of life, and sweep our arms towards our heart, 
affirming our inner voice. Extend our arms forward to offer kindness to the world and sweep our arms up, all the way up, to offer kindness to the world. Just letting them float down and gathering all of the gifts, bringing them to us. And again, ending in prayer. Let's do that three times. Open to the spirit of life. Sweep towards your heart. Extend your arms forward. Lift your heart to the world. Float your arms down. Gather everything together and end in prayer. Open. Sweep. Extend. Lift. Float, gather, prayer. Last time, open, sweep, extend, lift, float. Gather prayer. Thank you. Now let's settle in for our story. Moody Cow Meditates is by Carrie Lee McLean. I thought it was really fitting for our theme of transformation. Listen, and at the end, I'll ask if you have figured out why I think that. My name is Moody Cow. It used to be Peter, but now it's Moody Cow. It all started one stupid rotten day when everything went wrong. First, I had a bad dream. A very bad dream, which involved a giant three-eyed alien. What a rotten way to wake up. I wanted to find my mom and tell her about the giant three-eyed alien, but I couldn't find her anywhere. So I admit, I was in a bad mood to begin with. Then I couldn't find my skateboard. Turned out my sister had borrowed it. Daisy, stop drawing on my skateboard! Okay, maybe I overreacted when I pulled her tail, but it was a brand new skateboard. So then Daisy had to get me back by tripping me on the stairs. What a monster. That made me mad. So mad that I cut her doll's hair off on purpose. Of course, I got in trouble for that, which made me miss the bus. I had to ride my bike all the way to school in the snow. That made me really mad. On the way home from school, I hit a snowbank and scraped my knee. There was blood everywhere. The rest of the way, I couldn't stop thinking about how my rotten day was really Daisy's fault. She put me in a bad mood by drawing on my new skateboard. Or maybe it was the giant three-eyed alien's fault for giving me bad dreams. Whatever. I was so mad I couldn't see straight. And when I turned into our driveway, I crashed right into my dad's truck. Well, you can understand that with a bloody knee and a banged up nose, I was madder than ever. Super mad. And then 
I did something crazy. I picked up my baseball and threw it right through the window on purpose. Unfortunately, my mom saw the whole thing. What on earth do you think you're doing? She yelled. Have you lost your mind? She came outside and took one look at my super mad rotten day face, and I guess she felt sorry for me. Oh, are you a little moody cow? Of course, my sister Daisy heard her say that. She started shouting, Moody cow, moody cow, Peter is a moody cow. The next thing I knew, all the kids in the neighborhood joined in. We need grandfather, Mom said, and picked up the phone. Pretty soon, my grandfather was sitting in the sunroom on a meditation cushion. I got to sit on one, too. I hear they're calling you Moody Cow, Grandfather said and smiled. I couldn't help smiling back a little. I guess Moody Cow was kind of a funny name. See this, he asked as he pointed to a jar of water. This is your mind, he said. And these, he held out a little dish of sprinkles, are your angry thoughts. That, I said, is a jar of water, and those are Daisy's fairy dust sparkles. Come on, Mr. Moody Cow, work with me here. Now what we're going to do is put in a pinch of sparkles for every angry thought you have. Then we're going to sit here until they all settle down to the bottom. By the time the water is clear again, your anger will have settled down too. It won't work, I told him. Let's just see, he said. I took a pinch of sparkles and dropped it into the water. Which angry thought is that? Grandfather asked. That's the three-eyed alien. It tried to gobble me up last night. Oh, I see. Rotten way to start the day. Okay, what else? I put in another pinch for the next angry thought. This is me having to clean the toilet for a whole month for breaking the window. I hate cleaning the toilet. Me too. What else? I put in one more pinch of sparkles and said, this is Daisy drawing on my brand new skateboard with a marker. Oh dear, she did that? Grandfather sighed. Okay, what else? This pinch is when I missed the bus and had to ride my bike to school in the snow. You can ride a bike through the snow? Grandfather asked. I have good tires. Anything else? On my way home, I scraped my knee and I was so mad I crashed into dad's truck. I think I broke my nose. Ouch, grandfather said, that must have hurt. It did. Then I picked up my baseball and threw it through the window on purpose. Wow, you should put in a double pinch for that one. I guess you really did have a moody cow day. I sure did. Is that all? Grandfather asked. Yeah, but that's a lot. It sure is. Grandfather put the lid on the jar and shook it up real good. This jar is like your mind right now, he said. Angry thoughts bouncing all over the place. Now, let's see what happens when we let your angry thoughts settle down, Grandfather said putting the mind jar down in front of me. Just sit quietly and see what happens. I sat up really straight and then I got to ring the gong. I sat watching all my angry thoughts swirl around like crazy in the jar. A few thoughts slowed down and sank to the bottom, then a few more, 
and a few more. It was so still I could feel my heart beating. It was so quiet I could hear my breath going in and out, in and out. I felt a ray of golden sunshine coming through the window. It warmed my back and started to melt away the last of my anger. Finally, Grandfather rang the gong to end the meditation. He leaned over and whispered in my ear, Okay, this part's important. Don't move until you can't hear the sound of the gong anymore. I cocked my head, listening closely. The ringing got softer and softer and softer until I couldn't hear it at all. Grandfather smiled and held up the jar. Well, look at this. All the sparkles have settled down, he said. And my angry thoughts have too, I said. I mean, I guess if I think about it, I could get mad again. That's probably true, he said, but we had to work pretty hard to settle them down. Let's not stir them up again. I laughed for the first time that day. That thing is cool, I said. Can I keep it? Sure, said Grandfather. He smiled and handed me the jar and the dish of sparkles. A few minutes each day helps keep the moody cow away. I laughed again. Thanks, Grandfather. Can we do this again tomorrow? Of course. Let's try to do this together every day. I went to my room and put the mind jar by my bed, just in case the three-eyed alien ever comes back. Now it's been two whole weeks, and I haven't had one moody cow day. But I've decided to keep the name anyway. I kind of like it. So what transformed in this story? Peter, moody cow, was able to transform his mood through meditation. You can too, with practice and focus. Another practice that helps me transform my mood is music and singing. Please join me in this month's transformative hymn, One More Step, which is all about how we can change the world. One more step, we will take one more step till there is peace for us and everyone will take one more step one more word we will say one more word till every word is heard by everyone we'll say one more word one more song we will sing one more song till every song is sung by everyone we'll sing one more song go and be transformed by your experiences and be transformative and in this way, be blessed and be a blessing. Will you blow the candle out with me? Let's do it together. One, two, three.
Thank you for being here today. For the last 100 years, All Souls has been a beacon of free faith. For the last 10 months, we have stretched ourselves to continue to offer incredible programs and services, meaningful ways to connect with each other, serve the needs of our community. All of our programs are offered freely, making every opportunity for growth and connection accessible. We cannot continue to do this work without your support. Please consider making a gift or your 2021 pledge today if you can. No gift is too small. Thank you and know that we love you.